Hello there guys, this is Stranger Hydra and I'm back again for another gameplay commentary. Today we're going to be playing a little bit of Skyrim um, with all the DLC and a bunch of mods patched on. We're going to be running this on the FX 8350 uh, for processors and I basically have modded the INI files to allow multi-core processing um, and so basically we're just going to show some performance. But also we're going to just be starting a new Skyrim game uh, with an alternate start um, that you're going to be seeing. Uh, which is one of the mods that you can choose at uh, Skyrim Nexus, which is a site I pretty highly recommend. Um, because I just felt like playing some Skyrim. And I know a lot of you guys want to see some Skyrim. And um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. I, I don't know how far this playthrough will go, but maybe we'll have a bunch of parts. Just leave comments if you want to see... Uh, more Skyrim uh, because I can do you know a playthrough and unfortunately my last playthrough basically what occurred was um, yeah, let's pick a dark elf here my save data got corrupted unfortunately so we're going to pick a dark elf alright let's go to the body here let's see let's try this out yeah, female dark elf. Wait. Let's see there. We want to modify her complexion. Yeah, no, we don't want that. That's pretty cool looking. Dirt? No, that's just stupid. Scars, yeah, let's have a... Let's see. Uh, I mean, she is a dark elf. She has been fighting for the majority of her life. Something mild, not not anything too crazy, like something like that. Just just light, just very nice, very very subtle. War paint. Oh no, some of these some of these just uh, strike me a little bit. Uh, well, that actually looks quite nice. That's pretty crazy looking. But that strikes me quite nice and very subtle. Let's let's check out the paint colors here. Let's pick something blue. That's kind of purple. Uh, purple, I guess, will be okay. Huh. Hmm. Oh, I don't really want purple. Maybe like a little bit of orange. It's a beautiful. That's just kind of nice. Kind of nice. Not bad. But I'm not sure. We want something understated. Though. Nothing too gaudy. I don't like gaudiness. That's pretty cool right there. Let's Let's keep that. Okay, let's go on to her face. Her nose type looks just right right now. Uh, let's see. Nose length, jaw height. Laugh lines. Uh, nose color, forehead color. Let's let's see. Jaw width here. Yeah, that's way too big. Yeah, we definitely want a sleek profile. I mean, she is a dark elf. She's... We're going to be playing um, as a basically an assassin thief uh, style character, so we definitely want something a little bit. Our eye shape looks great. Um, let's see the colors. That's a good color right there, but we're going to check out some other ones. Yeah, that looks really crazy weird. I don't like that. Nope. 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 Okay, yeah. That's good. Um... I width. Yeah, that just makes it look strange. Uh, what's the original setting? There we are. Uh, I liner. Wow, that's that's crazy. I don't, I don't like anything too gaudy. It's just, just too much for me. Uh, wow, height. 
Let's check out the different wild types. So we had it on the default one there. Hmm. That one looks pretty good, or the original one. I just don't think anything really wild width. That, that just makes things look funny. We're not going to mess around with that too much. Mouth. Yeah. Oh, I mean, look at her lips. Her lips definitely need to be a little bit, uh, a little bit, a little bit, um, a little bit thinner. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Some weird ones in there. That looks a little bit more natural for a dark elf. That kind of looks good, but let's check it out here. That looks good. Very understated. Not, not over much at all. I actually like her hair as it is, just because I think it looks pretty unique. But we're gonna change the color. Uh, let's see here. That looks really good. That looks real nice. Okay, so we're done with that. So, uh, the name. This one I actually made up, and it was also in a uh, name generator. I kind of modified what a name generator generated for a dark elf. Uh, so, she's going to be Torzy Emberfinder, uh, which I think is a pretty cool little name. So right now, that's it, pretty much. And, uh, let's see what's going on here. Okay, so, basically in this alternate life, instead of starting in the traditional, um... Wow, so it's skeleton. Whatever. Uh, instead of starting in the original, you know, basically you're going down a mountain, you know, you're about to be executed. Here you can choose... Approach, my child, and choose where your new life shall begin. You can choose a whole host of options. Um, like, I came by ship to Skyrim, I own property, this actually gives you a house, I'm a new member of a guild, I'm a patron at a local inn, I'm a soldier in the army, yada yada yada. Bunch of cool options here to just vary things up and not get bored. So, I'm thinking shipwrecked off the coast might be good, but then, there's this option, uh, surprise me, which would be also really cool. Or I'm a Dunma refugee on Salsnahem. This put this is really cool too. Um, I, I'm thinking this one just because I, I I think this is cool. Um, just as it kind of ties in a little bit to Morrowind from what I understand of the lore of Skyrim. So let's do this. May you find a new and better life on Solstheim, my child. Okay, sounds good. So basically, I use the bed now. And there our journey begins, guys. Um, what the heck? All right. Uh, need. Mead, mead, mead. Okay, now first thing I need to do here is find out what weapons I have, if any. Um, and as you see there, it was saying that my... Okay, I have a steel war pick. Wow, okay. I'm not sure about this at all. This seems... Let's scroll out to our third person here. Alright. Load, load, load. There we go. 
That is a dubious weapon, to say the least. I'm going to try to get a new weapon as, as soon as possible. So, I mean, we could sleep here, but obviously we're not. We're going to be journeying out. But first, let's go up in this tower. Uh, and I've personally never chosen this intro before. So, actually, this is my first time using this mod at all. But it seems pretty cool. So, I guess we could use that if the circumstances required it. Let's go out into Solstenhem. Or however it is pronounced. That's what it sounds like, it doesn't it? Uh oh, what's going on here? There we go. Thought it might have frozen there for a minute. Da 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 da. Okay. So we see a bunch of people here. We probably want to put away our weapon. Uh, we don't want. Let's let's look at our key bindings here. Setting gameplay. There you go, gameplay controls. Okay, R is already sheath. So yeah, we definitely want to put that away. Get blood from a stone, Let's see what's going on here. Training in alchemy? Nah, I don't really need alchemy right now. I'll give you this warning only once. Stay out of my way, and we'll do just fine. Okay. Merkel doesn't lend coin to outlanders. Look somewhere else. I like your sword, that bow. Might be the end of you. Oh, actually, it's an axe. Well, I don't like axes. Stay out of my way. Okay, well, let's see what this guy wants. My wife and I are doing the best we can to keep Raven Rock fed. The Dunmer have been growing food in the Ashlands for thousands of years. It was born out of the necessity to survive in the harsh climate of our homeland. Hmm. And now, with the constant eruptions of the Red Mountains, it's more important than ever. Pretty interesting. No, only the Tilvani have the ability to weave living growth from the ash. This simply takes the right ingredients, the right tools, and a lot of patience. That is pretty interesting. Next time you're hungry, stop by. I always have plenty of food for sale. Alright, um... Looking for quests, looking for quests, yeah, we... At our level, there's no way we could take anybody on like him. Okay. Well, we had to do something. I'd rather starve than eat another Allow one of your horrid to Don't be put off by my husband's well, will. To understand how we met one another, you have to we'll appreciate it. Precious is a third generation miner. All his life, he's lived and breathed nothing else. By the time Precious came of age, the ebony mine in Raven Rock was shut down. He took that quite hard. Why didn't he move somewhere else to find work? Our home has been in his family for over 200 years. Leaving would have been like abandoning precious memories. Okay. Instead, he stayed on Soul's time and spent most of his life prospecting for a new ebony source. Sadly, he never surfaced. A decade ago, this drove him into a deep depression. He shut himself inside his home and refused to come out. It was. After refusing to allow anyone to bring him food, Counselor Morvane ordered his door to be knocked down before Precious starved to death. I was a temple priest at the time, and they had me use my healing arts to restore strength to his ailing body. I stayed for a while and cared for him, then I suppose we fell in love. That's a pretty good little story. You're a priest at the temple? I'm no longer welcome there. Why? In all honesty, it came down to a disagreement between what I believe and what Elder Othraloth believes. Okay. I'd prefer not to get into the details, but let's just say our opinions about the current status of the Tribunal vary widely. I see. Interesting. 
Be careful out there. Switch back to a fast bus way. Just miserable. This island's nothing but a pile of rubble. What's the point trying to make a life here? You don't like it? Don't like it. I hate it. Every day it's the same thing. We open the shop, we hardly sell a thing, we close the shop and go to sleep. What kind of a life is that? Why not it's on the moorwind? Oh, believe me. I'd be on the first ship off this miserable island if I could. But I'm not sure I could do that to my father. I think it would break his heart. We've already lost my mother. I don't want to leave him alone. I see. We lived in a settlement, perhaps a league from the border of Black Marsh. The homeland of the Argonians. Even though the Argonian invasion ended a long time ago, there were still a few scale-skinned clans that live within our borders. To put it simply, they attacked our settlement and slaughtered almost everyone. It was horrible. Yeah, that is pretty horrible. I kind of feel bad Keep for. Keep safe. Solstheim's still a dangerous place. Lori, you need to talk some sense into your husband. You can't get blood from a stone, my boy. As it is, we can barely make ends meet. This is interesting. That is my problem. I was clear why I was a car out money. That I wanted it back by first heart. Let's see what I can do. Very interesting. I'll Let's give see you what. This warning only once. Stay out of my way, and we'll do just fine. Looking for any potions, ingredients, alchemical supplies? Hmm, it sounded like a quest there, but maybe not. Plenty of potions and ingredients if you're ever in the market. My husband Bendel feared visitors would shun Raven Rock. I'm glad to see he was mistaken. Hmm. hmm. Well. Let's check our map real quick. Map, map, map. What was this? Custom destination? No. No, 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 no. Local map. Okay. Current location. The Wretching Netch. Marvel Manor. Love of Mallory's house, abandoned building, farm. Uh, let's go to the Wretching Nest. There's got to be something there. Got to be something that. What? Well, I don't want this custom destination. No. Uh, let's see here. Yeah. So we need to go a little bit over here to the Wretching Nest. Let's see. Whoa. Okay, so looks like we need to go up here, but we might have to get, Let's see here, we have to, have to get up here, I, I believe is how we're going to do this. What is this? Temple? No. Uh, let's check our map again. Okay, what? Temple. Where, where did we go? Oh, we went completely away from it. One next to the temple now, which is not where we want to go. I wish there was a mod for map overlaying. But the temple is for followers of our faith. Yeah, we get it, bro. Alright, let's see if we're any closer. Okay, we are closer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now oh, we're back to where we were at. How, how's this next to the hatching nest? This doesn't make it. Okay. Well, it must be this right here. Yes, Sarah. It is. Maybe we can find a quest inside the wretching nest. Or the wretching nest. Or netch. I don't know. It's a little confusing. Uh, let's see who we have here. Teldrin oh. Cero, blade for hire. Oh. If you have the coin. This is interesting. Okay, let's talk to him. The best swordsman in all Morrowind is at your service. Hmm. For the right price. Five hundred gold. Let's see how much gold we have. We have two hundred four gold right now, so that's 
not going to help us. We really don't have much at all. We started out with very little. So our first goal is I got to get some gear. Maybe we can find a quest from him. Welcome to the Wretching Nets Corner Club, home of the finest Sue Jammer that will ever grace your lips. Oh, there was rumors of war down near Helgen. The Redoran Guard have Not much to say, like I guess. Werewolves in the mountains. Vaunters up on Frost Moon Crag might know more. Hmm. Frost Moon Crag, interesting. Visit the hunters at Frost Moon Crag. Okay. There's actually a funny story behind the name, friend. A few years ago, I was walking down by the docks, and I noticed a Dunmer staggering along with a bottle of Sujama in hand. He was one of my patrons and liked to drink heavily, so I wasn't exactly surprised. Okay. Ah, but you see, this particular Dunmer was as naked as the day he was born, and okay. sick badly at the top of his lungs. As I'm watching this spectacle, a netch floats over the bulwark towards him. The man looks straight up at the netch, yells, have a drink, and tosses the bottle. And it never hit the ground. What? Well, the bottle broke on the netch, and it must have swallowed its contents because it started floating sort of tilted. Finally, <laughs> it stopped and began to quiver. A few moments later, the foulest liquid to ever assail your nostrils spewed from its maw. I've seen plenty <laughs> of drunks in me day. Oh, God. I'll tell you right now, that niche was sick. I see. True story, friend. True story. Of course it is. So, we have heard some rumors if lately. If you have gold on your hands, you might talk to Rallis of the Colbjorn Barrow. I've heard he wants to excavate the place. Hmm, yeah, that's... Definitely, definitely not. We don't have much gold right now. Sounds like the hunters might be a much better idea. Let's try to access... What, what do we need here? Uh, journal. Yeah. Yeah. We don't want that. This is what we want to do now. We want to visit the hunters at Frostmore Quag. That sounds actually pretty interesting. Uh, and we will do that, guys, in the next video. I hope you like this part one. Again, we were using the new uh, AMD flagship processor, the FX8350. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed this video. If you do, leave a like, leave a comment, and uh, just... Tell me if you want to see more of this. All right, sounds good. Hopefully see you guys in the next episode.